What manifests? Feelings, thoughts, or beliefs? Beliefs. It's your beliefs that manifest. Yes, with your thoughts, you can have the experience of someone very quickly showing up, repeating exactly word for word the thought you just had. Yep, that can happen. But think about it. Not every single individual thought manifests. And thank God for that. Because if every single one of my thoughts manifested, I'd be in prison. Just saying. My point is, a repetitive thought. You know, a thought you think over and over and over and over and over. That can become a belief. But you don't have to shit yourself if you've had a couple of shitty thoughts today. And the debate of feelings. It's not the feelings that manifest. Now, don't get me wrong. You'll often hear in my own content, you know, what does it feel like? Or what do you think it would feel like if you had your manifestation? It's not because you need to force yourself to conjure up a feeling. The idea in itself is getting you to get into your imagination. The more you're in your imagination, the more often you're entering the wish fulfilled. Or another way of looking at that is embodying the version of self who has the manifestation. It's a tool, a technique, a guide. But it's not the feelings that manifest. And that is something that is often misconstrued and misunderstood. When Neville Goddard himself was talking about feelings, he was referring to the feeling of knowing it's done. Feeling as if the manifestation is done. But keeping it real, that's not always a requirement to manifest. It's the beliefs you want to concern yourself with. Beliefs. Let me give you an example. Maybe you've had the experience of manifesting a breakup. You probably still loved your specific person. But you manifested that breakup anyway, didn't you? Your feelings of love didn't stop that from happening. It didn't stop it from happening to me either. I manifested two breakups. So I got some experience there. So again, you don't have to stress yourself out if you're not feeling like the person who has the manifestation. What matters is what your beliefs are. So what are your beliefs? What are you manifesting? Whatever it is, ask yourself, what do you believe about that subject? So for example, if you're manifesting a specific person, you might want to ask yourself, what do you believe about love? What do you believe about relationships? What do you believe about yourself in both of those categories? What do you believe about your specific person? What do you believe is possible for you? That's what I would take a look at if I were still manifesting a specific person. I manifested mine. You can manifest yours too. It's not as hard as it can feel like. It can feel difficult, but it's not. So don't stress over your feelings or your thoughts. Stress over your beliefs. (laughs) Just kidding.